So I just want to come up here and be like, publicly be like, bro, that was the lamest, like, goofiest shit. Make, I say all that to say it made me feel like 10 years ago when I was moving incorrectly. And I pray that God align me back up on my purpose and on my path. You know what I mean? I pray that my really didn't feel no way. And if he did, my I got my chin out. Take your best shot. I'm going to take that shit on the chin, boy. Do what you do. You know what I mean? Like, all good. Like, it's, it's love. At Dreamville Fest, J. Cole did something really special on stage that got everyone talking. After Kendrick Lamar released a song that had some tough words for both J. Cole and Drake, J. Cole didn't just stay quiet, he came back with his own song called 7 Minute Drill, where he answered Kendrick. But at the festival, instead of keeping up the fight, J. Cole decided to say sorry to Kendrick right in front of everyone. He told the crowd he was sorry for the back and forth between them and wanted to make things right. This was a big deal because it showed J. Cole wanted to fix things instead of staying mad. We're going to tell you all about why J. Cole said sorry, the songs they both made, and what this could mean for them going forward. Stick with us to hear the whole story. For the first time I was tested. Why am I tested? Because I got the world and I got my n like, what you gonna do, Cole? <laughs> my n like, Bit boy, I must have had a thousand missed calls. Oh my god. Text flooded. I couldn't even answer my shit. Nick, it's wartime. Right? So yeah, J. Cole took some time during his show at Dreamville Festival in North Carolina to get real with everyone. He started talking about his latest track, 7 Minute Drill, which was actually a comeback to a song Kendrick Lamar made called Like That. J. Cole was telling the crowd how he's been feeling good lately, doing things his way, but then he switched gears to chat about his new EP, Might Delete Later. He said he was really proud of it because it's part of a bigger project he's been cooking up for a long time. But there's a catch. Cole mentioned there was one part of his EP he didn't feel right about, the diss aimed at Kendrick. He straight up called it the lamest thing he's ever done. He shared how torn he felt when everyone was looking at him to see how he'd react to Kendrick's song. Despite the world wanting to see them go at it, Cole said he didn't actually have bad blood with Kendrick, who he's always looked up to. He was super honest, even naming Kendrick and admitting that his diss track was a mistake and kind of silly. Cole reflected on how it took him back to a time when he wasn't making the best choices, and he really hoped Kendrick didn't take it the wrong way. He stood there, asking for a chance to make things right, not just with Kendrick, but with everyone listening. Cole hoped for forgiveness Wanting to get back on track and leave the drama behind, he even said the past couple of days had been rough for him, feeling terrible about the whole thing. So what I want to say right here tonight is in the midst of me doing that and, and in that trying to find a little angle and downplay this, this nigga uh, catalog and his greatness, I want to say right now tonight, how many people think Kendrick Lamar is one of the greatest motherfuckers to ever touch a microphone? J. Cole's apology was more than just saying sorry to Kendrick, it was him being super honest and open about how he felt. He didn't want to pretend or hide behind his music, instead he chose to talk about his mistakes and how he wants to do better. This moment was all about Cole showing who he really is, someone who cares about his relationships with others, and who he is as a person, beyond just the music. So with this apology, what's next for all this drama between the big three stars? J. Cole stepping up and saying sorry to Kendrick is a big move, it's like he's putting water on the fire that's been the beef between them. This could really cool things down and maybe even end the drama. By apologizing, J. Cole is showing he'd rather keep the peace than keep fighting. It's a sign he wants to move past this, focusing on respect and the music, not the conflict. But what about Kendrick? He might have been cooking up his own comeback to J. Cole's diss. Now that J. Cole has apologized, Kendrick has a choice to make. He could either drop the track he's been working on, adding more fuel to the fire, or he could decide to let it go and keep it as a draft never to be released. This apology might influence Kendrick's next steps. It could lead to him choosing peace over continuing the battle, showing that respect among artists can outweigh the drama. However, there's still Drake in the picture. While everyone's been watching how things unfold between J. Cole and Kendrick, Drake's been making some moves of his own that could hint at what's coming next. Recently, he posted a picture on his social media showing an NBA trophy and a notebook. It's got people talking and guessing that he might be cooking up something big, possibly a track that could add a new twist to the drama with Kendrick. Adding to the speculation, at his final show, Drake made a statement that had everyone buzzing. He said he's standing tall with his head up high, his back straight, and his feet firmly on the ground, claiming that no one on this earth can mess with him. Him. This kind of talk makes it clear Drake's feeling confident and ready for whatever comes his way. A lot of people ask me how I'm feeling. I'm gonna let you know how I'm feeling. Listen, the way I'm feeling is the same way I want you to walk out of here feeling about your self. Because you know how I'm feeling? I got my head up high, my back straight, I'm 10 foot toes down in Florida, anywhere else I go.
And that's how I want you to walk out of here tonight. But how did all of this start in the first place? For those of you who don't know, it all started with Kendrick Lamar. Kendrick kicked things off with some heavy jabs at Drake and J. Cole in a recent track. He didn't just choose any targets, he went after two of the biggest names in the rap game. So what was it that Kendrick said to get everyone's attention? He dropped some fierce lines in Like That from Future and Metro Boomin's album We Don't Trust You. Kendrick made it clear from the get-go, directly calling out Drake and J. Cole with some pretty sharp words. This whole beef seems to have roots in a track from last year where J. Cole referred to the big three in rap, which includes himself, Drake, and Kendrick, and mused about who the top MC might be. Drake seemed to respond by suggesting that the top spot was just between him and Cole, leaving Kendrick out in the cold. In Like That, Kendrick didn't hold back. He challenged challenged them to be direct with lines like, yeah, get up with me, forget sneak dissing. This is Kendrick telling them to stop hiding behind their lyrics and address him directly. He boldly declared, mother big three, it's just big me, positioning himself not as part of a trio, but in a league of his own. And Kendrick went on to say more than just criticizing them. He even delivered a punch to their music, saying that what they consider to be their best work pales in comparison to his. He boldly compares himself to Prince, claiming that his legacy will surpass theirs. Kendrick's line, your best work is a light pack, Prince outlived Mike Jack, is a bold statement. He's essentially stating that he'll be remembered as the greatest of all time, long after Drake and J. Cole have faded from status. I'm really like that, and your best work is a light pack, Prince outlived Mike Jack. And then everyone was waiting for Drake and J. Cole to respond to these disses, and it was J. Cole who stepped up to the plate. Fans were taken aback by his bold move back into the rap battle arena. With his latest release, Might Delete Later, J. Cole fires back at Kendrick Lamar's jabs with a heated verse on 7 Minute Drill. He starts off with, I got a phone call, they say that somebody dissing, you want some attention? It come with extensions. He's clearly pointing a finger at Kendrick for stirring up drama, suggesting that Kendrick's looking for attention, but warns of the consequences that follow. J. Cole continues to dissect Kendrick's career path with sharp lines. He acknowledges Kendrick's initial success, but doesn't shy away from expressing his views on the decline in Kendrick's recent works, saying, he's still doing shows but fell off like the Simpsons. Your first was classic, your last was tragic. While he gives props to Kendrick's early achievements, Cole doesn't hold back on his critique of Kendrick's latest outputs. He contrasts their careers by highlighting Kendrick's peak in his own ascent. Your third was massive and that was your prime. I was trailing right behind and I just now hit mine. Thursday massive and that was your prime i was trailing right behind and i just now hit mine moreover cole comments on the long waits between kendrick's the heart series releases with he averaging one heart verse like every 30 months or something he implies that without kendrick's recent diss there wouldn't be much buzz around him yet even as he's ready to stand his ground cole shows a level of respect towards kendrick blood don't make me have to smoke this guy because i with him, but push come to shove on this mic, I will humble him. J. Cole's response isn't just a clapback, it's a declaration that while he holds respect for Kendrick, he's fully prepared to meet the challenge head on. Lord, don't make me have to smoke this cause I but push come to shove on this mic, I will humble him. And there you have it, everyone. We just took a deep dive into J. Cole publicly saying sorry to Kendrick, talked about why all of this beef started, and looked at how J. Cole didn't hold back with his words against Kendrick in his song. It's been a wild ride with these two. From Kendrick calling out J. Cole and Drake, to J. Cole stepping up and responding with some strong words of his own. In the end, J. Cole's apology at the Dreamville Fest shows he's looking to move past the drama and focus on respect and music. But with Drake still silent, we're all left wondering if he'll jump into the mix or let things cool down. It's a reminder of how quickly things can heat up in the rap world, but also how they can take a turn towards reconciliation. As fans, we get to see that even the biggest stars can have their ups and downs just like the rest of us. It's not just about the disses or the comebacks, it's about how they handle it and what they learn from it. So let's keep an eye out for what's next for J. Cole, Kendrick, and maybe Drake. Who knows, this might just be the start of a new chapter for them. What's your take on all of this? Do you think J. Cole's apology will put an end to the ongoing tension between these rap giants? And what about Drake? Will he break his silence and weigh in on the situation? Plus, we're all curious to see if Kendrick will publicly acknowledge J. Cole's apology. Share your thoughts and predictions in the comments below. We'd love to hear what you think is coming next in this saga.